I'm going to show you the um, descriptive statistics uh, function in data analysis tool pack. We have a variable, audit time, it has 20 observations. The data that you see here is already sorted. <clears throat> Go to data, data analysis, scroll up and down, find descriptive statistics, click OK. It will ask you for um, <clears throat> input range. Go ahead and highlight all the data values. It asks, it tells you group data, <coughs> <coughs> group by columns, which is what it is. You want to keep that as default. Check this off uh, the labels box because you included the label in the column in your um, selected area. For output range, let's go ahead and put the results in cell C2, so I will click that cell. And then I want to make sure that the summary statistics is selected or checked off. At this point, if you say OK, you will see uh, audit time, descriptive statistics, mean, standard error, median, mode, everything. One word of caution about mode. Here, mode is 18. That's because that's the most highly or observed or frequently observed data value. Notice we have 14 data values here. If I add another 14, now I should have bimodal um, summary, um, both 14 and 18. So let's go ahead and with this new edit, newly added 14 in my data set, let's go ahead and do another descriptive uh, data analysis. Um, I'll go through the same motions, but now for input range, I want to make sure that that last 14 I added is in there. Um, and I'm going to report the results in this cell. Notice that the mode is now 14. So what um, Excel has done is ha it picks the first uh, mode and it will report that. So you need to be careful of that. Count is 21 in this case and count is 20 in this case because um, in this first set, we did not have that four, extra 14. Thank you.